leaving Kuwait and um, we're going to Hoyan. We've got a four hour bus drive. Um, we had some amazing food in Kuwait. Uh, even went to the same restaurant twice, it was that good. Uh, the food was off the chart, I mean, next level stuff. And uh, yeah, like I say, we've got a four hour bus ride to Hoyan. We're going to get our suits tailored. Irina's going to get a couple of dresses done as well. Uh, we're going to have a little bike ride tomorrow for four hours as well. Go and look around the ancient city. And then we're going to have a little party in the evening, a bit of a dance, a few drinks, let our hair down a little bit and uh, just enjoy it. It's absolutely gorgeous here. As you can see, the sun is shining. Amazing. What a place. It's about 123 miles from Hue to Hoi An, which is about 80 miles, and it takes about three hours to get there. We travelled all the way down through Da Nang into Hoi An. On the way down through Da Nang, we passed Da Nang Bay, which is absolutely beautiful, as you can see, and it was the setting for the surfing scene in the film Apocalypse Now. We stopped for a mandatory coffee and checked out the beautiful sights from the top of the hill. And before long, we were back on our way. I just want to show you the lush countryside and the beautiful view as you travel down the windy roads through Da Nang. As we passed through the city of Da Nang, we went over the Tran Thai Li Bridge, which roughly translates to the beautiful sail, which meant we were half an hour from our end destination, Hoi An. So we've just arrived in Hoi An. This is our wonderful hotel. We've got the crew with us. Fantastic, looking forward to checking in. We've got a big day ahead of us. Suits, massage and good food. Wow, beautiful. Sincha? Afternoon. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. We've got the pool. So I want to move on uh, to use a toilet. The toilet is on the right hand side of the reception list, okay? We can check in now. Okay, one. We I give you twenty minutes. The room available now. Leave all your stuff in the in the room, okay? Perfect. And then we walk. Uh, yeah, because uh, we walk for lunch, and you uh, prepare your stuff later after the walking to and lunch, okay? okay. I give you the key now. Everyone, one o'clock. We leaving from here, okay? One o'clock. Yeah. One two. We did get our room. We will. We will. Oh great. One, two, 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 two. Yeah. Two zero six. Uh, Sam and Irina. Okay. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Lovely marble floors. 
next one is us. Here we go. She knew. And I'll just pop this in the thing. for three days so we're now leaving the room we had a little problem with a bit of damp and electric cables outside so we had a little word and they've kindly upgraded us to a suite overlooking the pool which uh, follows the ethos if you don't ask you don't get highly advised if you are in that situation to raise any problems and they will sort you right out gorgeous hotel Fabulous room. Smells fantastic in here. A whole world apart. <laughs> the other one did smell a bit damp, to be fair. And now we have this with a balcony. Shelong, or Cheslong, however you want to say it. And a view over the pool. Nice. It's a much better room. <sighs> Hoi An, it's a place I've always wanted to come. And we're now gonna go for some food and we're gonna go and measure up for the suits and then get a massage and have a little wander around. So, we are just leaving the hotel to go and grab some lunch. Beautiful little bird. My gorgeous wife. Checking out where we're going. And we got the crew. Back streets of Hoi An. Very much looking forward to this. Incredible place. It's lovely and sunny. It's not too humid at all. We're just walking through about a 10 minute walk until we get to the restaurant. It's much different to Hanoi. It's uh, a lot quieter on the streets. A lot less chaotic. It's a much more chilled vibe. That is for sure. Hoi An people. Hoi An. That's it. Here we go. After being roped in to sell some fruit and veg, we started to meander all the way through the ancient streets of the beautiful town of Hoi An. Yeah, no, absolutely. Turns out one of the people on our tour was a legend in the film industry for lighting. His name was Dominic, he lives in Switzerland. And all the way through our walk, he was giving me advice on the best lighting for the future films coming up. And this guy was quite funny. He wouldn't leave us alone. He really wanted to sell my wife a pair of sunglasses. We are now on the main promenade of the beautiful town of Hoi An. The town is positioned on either side of the Thu Bon River and we were making our way to one of the best restaurants in the town. The name of the restaurant was Hong Phuc Tu and the food was absolutely delicious. 
lạc vào tim anh lẽ lối đằng sau chưa yêu đây là thương when you call me a baby yeah. make me so crazy my heart breaking slowly chầm chầm bờ môi khẽ trôi we get that she has thank you xin chào wow look at this this is amazing this is gorgeous My friend, how are you? Beautiful. Wow, this is the kitchen. Nice. Amazing. Is it okay? It's okay. YouTube. Thank you. Come all the way through here. The important fridge. Rack <laughs> beer. Oh, you got drop it. Oh, good. I have rack beer for the local beer. Oh, superb. Huda beer. Huda. Oh, on draft. Yes. Oh, very, she's very my friend. Proud. This lady, my friend. Yes. This, you mind being on camera? That's <laughs> uh, good stuff. Thank you. Yeah, thank Sit, you. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Yeah. Sing chào. How are you? Good. 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 Yeah. I can the this is Lucky. He was the manager of Hong Fuck Two beer. restaurant. So, absolutely uh, lovely guy. Really genuine, and, and he absolutely way. adored me for some now, reason. We actually went back on our last night to have a couple of drinks with him on the house. So now happy, happy hour. hour. <laughs> for one cap, but now happy hour. We need 50% off. Just only 119. Closing link. It's the same package, one cup. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Absolutely amazing. So Mojitos, obviously house specialities, yeah. barbecue, yellow Half lemon right. snapper. For the bucket. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I like this guy. He's good. I like this guy. Woo. So the bucket. Yeah, the bucket. You can try special my restaurant. So I'm not entirely sure what any of this is, but uh, I'm definitely going to go in for a little bit of the beef. So, or pork, possibly. I think it's beef. Mm. 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 Chasu. Three. Yeah. Mm. It's pork. Mm. Delicious. <coughs> Outrageous flavour. Crunchy. Delicious. Juicy vegetables. You know, they've got the mushrooms, the carrots. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. For the wonton as well here. Delicious. Just finished our starters and now it's on to the red snapper. We've got a little nice pit portion of sticky rice. A little salad on the side. And it's delicious soft fish. Get into it. Mm. Oh, the coconut. It's absolutely fantastic. Mm. Little onions. Dried scallops. Oh, fantastic. And what a setting. We'll be definitely let, letting off some lanterns later on. Cheers. Is that a euphemism? Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> It's an amazing dessert. We've got these chocolate crepe or crepe au chocolat. Let's get into it, see what they're about. Mm. Mm. Wow. What is in the middle of that? I think it's banana. Banana? Is it banana, Lucky? Oh, oh. Very delicious. Mmm. Superb. Mmm. Fantastic crib. Mmm. Mm. 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 Without any further ado, we finished our lunch and settled the bill, which was very reasonable by the way. And then we were off to meet our next tour guide for the afternoon. Her name was Mrs. Hai and she was to be our tour guide for the next two days. However, on this particular afternoon, she was to give us a guided tour of the history of the beautiful town of Hoi An. Also, at night time, we have some activity in the town. Uh, if you want to have the 
romantic time with the lantern boat riding. Over there, you can see the lantern boat riding. So, uh, at night time, many people they sell the ticket on this trip. Tonight, I'm available for romantic time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, if you want to take the lantern boat, <laughs> yeah. just buy the ticket. Yeah? And when you get the ticket, you can show uh, show them and they rent the boat for you. For one boat, they can take from three, four, five people in one boat and show you along the river with the floating lantern on the river. Just in case if you want to do the floating, a floating lantern for me, the wishing. Yeah. And if you want to have the romantic time, do the job with him. Yeah. Okay, so can this it is in the oldest house of the town. This house was built over 200 years old. And you can see the lady here. She is the third generation of the family. The man here, he is the fourth generation. The ladies behind you, she is the third, uh, the fifth generation. And the man next to the lady, he is the sixth generation. So until now, the seventh generation of the family, they're still working a little bit there. And just there, they welcome to risk come to visit. So this house was built over 200 years ago. And this is the oldest house of the town. And the name of the house is Tanki. So in the old day, it's called the name of the famous souvenir shop in Huyang. Because the house has good location with both sides. On the back side of the house, that is the Tubong River. So in the old day, the family, they can trade in with the foreigner merchants and they sell it in front of the house. Both yeah. sides, yeah. On the second street of the town and the third street on the river side. Hole at the bottom of the cup. Did you see? Now, we pour water into the cup, 80% to the cup. 80% the water stays still. Everything okay? 80%? But if we pour more than 80%, <laughs> it's completely. It's completely. Em empties completely. Empties completely. Yeah. What the lady is showing us here is the famous Confucius cup. Wow. It symbolizes that in life, not everything needs to be perfect. It's completely, yeah. 80% is more than yeah. enough. So, yeah, you know, uh, the, it means we have to control our behavior, not too angry. Not too greedy. Or uh, eighty percent food, eighty percent alcohol, something like that. Um, moderation. Everything in moderation. Yeah. This cup made by six generation of this family. Uh, six generation of this family. He was a teacher, and he worked at Da Nang University. He retired from two thousand twenty-two, and he made the cup from that time to now. After COVID time, yeah, this is a new thing before we don't have, yeah. He only make 15 to 20 cups per month, per month. If you like, you can get it for your young generation, for your collection, for souvenir. It's really unique, I'm guaranteed for you. You cannot find anywhere in Vietnam because the cup only this family allowed to make this, yes. And this go with the cup, we have other story. This a uh, name of the house and this is the story of the cup. When they came to Hoi An for trading, they believed that the god of the business will bring the to them. And uh, in Vietnam, Quang Chiu Temple, very famous for some people who have their own business. They come here to make the wish. Especially on the Lunar New Year, there are many people from the other city. They also come to visit the temple. That's why on the Lunar New Year, the temple open at 2 a.m. It's very early, Once yeah? again, we set off and, into the uh, beautiful you know, streets of Hoi An. I couldn't things. wait to do my so research morning, and find the perfect tailor to make my suits. As you know, Hoi An is very famous for handmade tailored couture. Yeah. We went into a number of tailors that afternoon. However, one really caught our attention. It was called Yale and it was recommended to us. The reason why it caught our eye is because upstairs it's got an entire factory dedicated to handmaking suits and ladies' couture. I will be making another video very shortly dedicated to the making, manufacturing and tailoring of my suits. Watch this space. Amazing.
By the time we had finished at the tailors, it had got quite dark outside and quite late, so we decided to have a little walk around Hoi An and find ourselves a lovely place for dinner. Irina being Irina did her due diligence and found the most incredible family-run restaurant with 930 Google reviews and an average of 4.7 stars. This place was something special and goes by the name of Khao Lao Bale. Okay. So there? Salt, lemon. A little bit of lemon. Yeah. A little bit cheesy. The owner of the restaurant was a lovely lady. She's very kind, like a loving mother, and she showed us how to eat each dish in a traditional Vietnamese way. We like it hot. Yeah, okay, right. I strongly advise you, if you ever do find yourself in the gorgeous city of Hoi An, definitely make your way to Khao Lao Ballet. You will not be disappointed. It's highly, highly, highly recommended. Maybe a little bit more vinegar. And without a shadow of a doubt, I'll be there in a heartbeat tomorrow. You can share with us. Together, the dry bamboo and the dry bamboo. Yeah. yeah, deep road. Oh wow! Deep road. Deep road. Oh my goodness. Deep road. Okay. So now, see, we take off one the first. Huh? We leave on the top to eat the food and the next one. Fantastic. Oh. That's amazing. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, when you like it. Thank I you. Okay, right. Enjoy. I try now. Yeah. Okay, no fingers, try. just chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> I try. Yeah. Oh, she's lovely. Yeah. Amazing. What a great place. I mean, wherever you go in Vietnam, the food is fairly standard, you know, not standard, it's amazing, but they have the same kind of methods. It's like, it's phenomenal. So, we go in for half one of these. So. There we go. So put it here. On the oh, like that. Open. Open. Yeah. Oh, delicious. We get some of the herbs. I might be better rolling with my fingers than. Uh, but we'll give it a go. So, a bit more lettuce, I think, maybe. Oh. Okay. So one underneath. Okay. Yeah, big yeah, one. On the top? Yeah, yeah, sure. It'll be the same. Big one, the long, the same. Oh, so it's the long. Okay. okay, now okay. you keep going. Yeah, keep going. 
Oh. Yeah, yeah, roll, roll. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I got it. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> well done. Okay. Why? Right. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, enjoy. Come on. So in the fry pancake, we have for two different sauce, like a Venus sauce, blue sauce. Uh -huh. This sauce, better too. You can try for two different. Yeah, and this one sauce, for this one. For this one. Yeah, for recipe draw. Come on. Right. Is, it, is it that delicious as long? Long. Oh. Yeah, long. Long, long. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Come on. Do we, do we eat chopsticks or fingers? Okay, okay, so if you like the hand, we have the... Uh, oh, so we, we just had showers, so we're... Okay, if you have the hand, okay. okay. I think that this is a big surprise. Thank you. Right, sorry. Come on. Right, ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So good. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> Food does not get better than this. This is. Cameron. Okay, so chicken. Mm. Way to throw that plate. Wow. This is amazing. Ooh, we lost it. Oh, man. Okay, it's off. No more. Right. There we are. Okay, so now we try that the a little bit vinegar and onion. See? Okay. Onion mm -hmm. here. Ah, oh, pickles. So you have the better. Okay. So. Spicy? Yep. Okay, so we we'll put a little spicy in here. Oh, wow. Okay, mm. a little sauce in here too. A little dinner sauce in here too. Okay, so we a little bit meat now. Mm. Okay, so now you check again. You join the right and cake in here. Yeah. And you put the same. We put a little on the top later. Okay. One second. And so you have the bottom. Oh. Okay, now I'm eat. Okay, so keep them. Come on. Mm. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> okay, so if you want the same. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, it's absolutely amazing. Right. What a, the peanut comes right through. Right. And the chili. Wow, I like it strong. Yeah, pickled I onions. Just, they're not pickled onions, but they're pickled, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> We finished our dinner and decided to amble down to the Thu Bon River, the heart of Hoi An. Words cannot describe how romantic and how beautiful it is at night. The boats on the river, the people letting off the lanterns with a wish. It truly, truly is gorgeous.
we walked a little longer. We were going to go into a bar, but we found this little shack that sold cocktails. So we grabbed ourselves a couple of gin and tonics and sat down overlooking the river and took in the most romantic ambiance before it was time to rest our heads as we had another busy day tomorrow. How you baby? I love you. It's an amazing place. The more I learn, the more I love. This place is just so romantic, so perfect.